It's your boy, Isaac Anzu, uh, back again, although everything is a lot flatter this time for some reason. Uh, and I'm joined here by the effervescence and uh, incomparable DNA me. Did you practice those? Hmm? Very unique adjectives you've got there. I got I got a whole I got a whole bag of adjectives, uh, just ready to go. Uh, do we kill the bunnies? I mean, you can. Okay. I don't need to, but they kind of just explode. So you know. <laughs> they they really do they really do be exploding. Uh. So this is Terraria. Wait, why can't I hit this tree? Oh, so you have the smart cursor on. I believe that's toggled off by pressing down on the right toggle stick. Oh, indeed. Yeah, then it just auto targets. Oh, sick. Okay. So smart cursor is used more for building, so you can do precise blocks instead of it just building wherever, because if you don't have it on, it kind of just builds wherever. Oh, well, that's that's smart. It is a smart person, yes. Uh, but this is Terraria. I, I mean, everybody who's not me can tell that this is Terraria. And it's my first time playing. So I'm recognizing some mechanics from Minecraft, but apparently my pickaxe is unhappy. <laughs> it's a very sad pickaxe. Also, also, left trigger to jump is messing with me. Oh yeah, I had that. I have that on A. <laughs> I'm using an Xbox controller. I changed it. <laughs> nice. I'm build myself a little house right here, real quick. So what? 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 What is happening? Are we using using so, using wood to the, build a house? Yeah, so the cool thing about Terraria is that they've added a mechanic where you don't actually have to mine the block, when, the block and then replace it with a new one. You can just place a block directly on an old block and it will just replace it for you. Ah, I see. This is nice. So if I use the smart cursor here... Yeah! Hey! A little house. That's pretty cool. Up so I can grab our table here. You suck. What is this guy saying? Yawn? <laughs> oh, that is our NPC. He can give you, if you talk to him and like do crafting, he'll tell you a bunch of like all the crafting like recipes you can do for a certain item and what materials you'll need, which is very nice. You well, all right. You seem to be dead. I've been moved. There is a timer on the spawn, and it's about ten seconds, I think. You drop gravestones when you die. Oh, I see. It looks like your gravestone has become part of our house. Yeah, they're not like blocks you can actually be blocked by. So hold on, let me. Make a board. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold off all of these guys. There we go. Oh my goodness, a ghost! That's, a ghost though. that's, that's not gonna stop my old guys. <laughs> Take that, zombos! Oh, so the door like automatically opens when you go through it? Oh yeah, it's for automatic most of the time. Yeah. It's very nice. Torch and torch. Now it's bright. Yay! Interestingly, with Terraria, since there is no like background wall, you actually have to build it yourself to keep things from spawning inside. Which is this here. Huh. I. Now it's safe. <laughs> 
So there's a foreground layer and a background layer. Yes. That is exactly right. Oh, I... I have torches. I don't know how that happened. So, sometimes enemies can drop torches. That's probably how. Man, if only the people in, like, Night of the Living Dead knew this strategy. <laughs> yeah, just stand in a doorway, just stab them as they walk slowly towards you. The ultimate. The ultimate strategy. The, the funnel technique, really. <laughs> okay, but now oh, there's an owl! Owl. There's a lot of animal life in the area. That's so cool. But I'm gonna drop you this. This was all just made with wood. So it's just some simple armor to get us started. Okay, uh, let me see. I see. Okay, I have a menu. Uh, so, X is equipped. I'm, yeah. But you can also just drag it over to that bar on the right. The green slots are all the stuff we can Oh, gosh. Okay. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand. That's to be expected. It's your first time playing. Mm-hmm. We'll, uh... Destroyed. Wait, what? What, what are these little demon eyes? Seems yes, are the flying concerning. The interesting thing about Chari is that a lot of the enemies use similar AI. So these guys use the exact same AI as bats do, except their turning radius is a bit slower. will also fall out of the sky, so there's one over here. Wait, what? It, yeah, come over here. Oh, wow. They just fall in stars. Yeah. If they hit an enemy, they do like a thousand damage. <laughs> <laughs> they, can't, they can't hit a player, so that's very nice. That's that's kind of kind of great. Yeah. And if you get five of them, you can make a mana star that'll increase your mana. Which is that little blue star at the top right next to your health. Oh, okay. So there's a there's a magic system? Wow. Oh yeah, Terraria has like four main classes. There's melee, ranger, uh sorcerer, and then uh summoner. Sorcerer is the one that makes the most use of mana stars. Yeah, it's a lot more strict with its classes than Minecraft is, where you can kind of just mix and match. Because certain armors will give you bonuses only to certain class types. It gotcha. doesn't really matter until you get into the second half of the game, because the first half's pretty simple. You can basically do anything and still be fine. But once you get into the harder mode of the game, then you kind of have to focus up on one class. Which is why I had you pick a number from one to four for me. I think. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to be doing the range for this game too. So as soon as I get a range button, I'm going to stop using everything else. Okay. Just for funsies. I would use this bow I have, but I don't actually have any <laughs> Kind of uh, night to Ooh. Yeah, this is unfortunate. This demon eye is real laggy. <laughs> we get destroyed out here. Day one, and we're dying. I'm not too concerned about it. So is the uh is the when it says copper, is that like the building material or is that the uh so, Currency. So there, the thing is, there's copper coins, and then there is just copper. 
Huh. The coins are going to be the currency, what you get from killing monsters and all that. And selling items. And those go copper, silver, gold, and then platinum. Wow. Oh, I see how you're supposed to do that. And I believe it's a hundred of each coin to go up to the next tier of coin. That's pretty classic. Usually it's either 10 or 100. Huh. Okay, day seems to have broken, so the music changed. Okay. So hopefully I thought the zombies was that strong and there's something right now. I think we'll go on a little adventure. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> and be aware, the fall damage in this game is a little egregious. Oh, really? There are many items that'll. There are a lot of items that you can equip that'll turn off fall damage, but until then, it's better to be careful. <laughs> I have one health. I'm gonna sit inside. <laughs> Just for a second. So, health regenerates over time? Health does regenerate, and the speed is different depending on what you're doing. If you're standing still, it's the most regeneration. You still regenerate, but only slower while you're moving. Oh, okay. Yeah, and there are multiple items that also increase regeneration. Hey, yeah. There's, there's daytime. There's daytime. I got an achievement. Oh, this tree's pretty. Yeah, I believe they added cherry blossoms to the game. I don't think there's anything actually different about it. Yeah, it still just drops wood. <laughs> But what are you thinking, my man? You want to go left or right? <laughs> Is there a big difference? Not really, kind of. Okay. We'll we... probably go both ways eventually. We go left. Start. Is it is it usually better to find a cave as opposed to just like digging down? It doesn't really matter. There's caves everywhere. Okay, so we've stumbled upon some living trees already, which you just mine through with a pickaxe. Uh huh. We've got a little chest here. <gasps> oh my gosh, a chest already! So, uh... recall potions. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. You can't. Here, I'll let you interact with it because only one person can touch a chest at a time. Okay. Superior so, spear. That spear is a pretty good weapon. It's basically just a straight upgrade to your copper short sword. Okay. The can of worms is for fishing bait, tin bars for building materials, shurikens are just like little chip damage that you can throw that are like expendable. And then you've also got health potions in there, which you should definitely take. I would just, usually I would just loot out all on every chest because you have quite a bit of inventory space. But the recall potions are probably the most important because those take you back to spawn without having to run all the way back. So oh, that's there's awesome. There's a loot all button on the very right edge, so I'll let you have this one of yourself. Ah, I see Let's that. Descend. Okay. Let's see if there's any more loot. Oh my goodness. It's very uh. dark when you're not holding it, but luckily torches give off light when you hold them. You can also just place them. Oh, I see, so I see. There's chest in here. Someone's got a little more loot for me. And this right here, this loom, is actually a crafting station, so I'm gonna take that. Oh, cool. I also like, I also like mining the chests after you get all the loot from them, just so you don't think that there's something when there isn't. Ah. Uh. Classic. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go mine that old chest as well, and then we'll head further down. See if there's anything at the bottom. No. Uh, 
Uh, I think I found another chest. You have indeed. What is in Maybe here? Goodies inside. Uh, there's some ro uh, rope. Rope is good, but you also found an aglet. Okay. Which is very nice, because that is something you can equip to increase your movement speed a little bit. Let me look around at this stuff. Uh, okay. Going to replace. Yeah, the aglet is the uh, the yellow thing. Okay. Equip. I'm slightly so slightly faster. Because the, yeah, the zombies that we killed earlier drop a shackle and that increases defense for me. But <laughs> bunnies trapped. doesn't seem to be anything else down here, so we're gonna head back up. Oh, really? Okay. This one, there's not usually that many chests in these. These are pretty average areas. Ah, they, they don't just go all the way down, huh? Yeah, no. All the good loot is underneath in the, in the mines. But there's some simple stuff that can be found in the top layer. So what are the what are the layers in this game? So you've got well technically you going from top to bottom. You have the space layer, which there isn't really much in. Then you have the sky layer, which can have floating islands, which are pretty cool. Then you have the surface layer. Then I believe it's underground caverns, and then just straight up hell. <laughs> ah, so you, you go down far enough, you just you can you can, you, you can mine all the way to hell. It is a very important place to be able to get to. Ah. Because hell is like the end game area of the first half of the game. Oh. That's where all the best loot is before you beat a certain boss. Uh, and here is where a natural cavern is. Oh, FYI, I don't know if you know this, but you also can't hold torches in water because they will just go out. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Make sure to break pots as well because they can have potions and stuff in them okay right here you've got some iron okay, oh. so it looks like iron is going to be our second tier of ore for this world what's the first what's the stuff. first tier ore the first tier of ore is i believe copper Copper or tin. There's for every world. There's like two different types of ore that can be spawned on world generation. So yeah, we also have tin down here. But yeah, copper and tin are the same. Lead and iron are the same. Ah, let's see, we have another chest. Uh, this one's got grenades in it. Oh, nice. And a step stool. <laughs> I did actually find a lesser healing potion in that uh, pot. Yeah. So yeah, now I've gotten a step stool, so I can kind of just pop up a little bit. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a step stool too in here. Oh, it's nice. so cool. get enough iron to make an anvil. Ah, uh, okay. Then we can start making better gear. So that's our first uh yes, that is the goal. first goal. Okay, I didn't really plan on going down this far, so I kinda wanted to just cross the surface first. Uh, but, you know, although there I, is is iron no, right there. Keep, let's just keep I believe that's tin actually. Oh is it? Okay. Yeah, it's 10. Ooh. This one's got a radar. That's very helpful. The radar t tells me how many enemies are nearby. 
Oh. The current number is five. <laughs> That's cool. Squirrel. What are you doing down here? Huh? What was that? Oh. It's my grenade. That was a grenade. <laughs> I see. The grenades. Of course. How could how could I uh, forget? Ah, we seem to have stumbled onto the uh, world corrupt world evil right to our left here. This is so it looks like we got the corruption because it is purple. What is corruption? So it, it's like just the evil area of the world. It's a bit harder, and also it's made of this block that we can't find yet because it's too tough. Uh, I see, I see. We need a better pickaxe for it. So for now, I think we should probably head back up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, sand still has gravity here. You're gonna have to be able to mine up through there. But we do have rope. Oh. Which can, and which can be placed like a chain, and it'll just fall down. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. Uh, rope is very nice. <laughs> For early exploration, especially. If I go platforming, this is why I didn't want to play Terraria because it's basically just like platforming Minecraft, and I'm terrible at platformers. Yeah, a little bit, but once you get into hard mode, you get wings, which let you basically just fly. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's no longer platform. Somehow the platforming went away. <laughs> I don't think I need mushrooms on my bar, huh? Yeah, mushrooms actually do heal a little bit. Oh. It's not much. Okay. That's cool, though. The lesser healing potions are going to be much more useful. <laughs> I go. There we go. I was wondering how we were going to get out of there, honestly. Yeah. That's what the rope's for. Oh my god, the bright the, rope. the brightness compared to the cave is just like in, so intense. <laughs> yeah, caves are very dark until you get later in the game. Yeah, we probably shouldn't venture into here quite yet until we get some better armor. The enemies are much too strong. What's uh what's what's, so, what's these guys called? Those are eaters of souls, I believe. But uh, I would use one of let's see. Those potions. Just use that real quick. That'll teleport you back. Oh, okay. Um uh, the recall potion. Yeah. I think you remember how to get to there. How do I eat? There we go. Ah, okay. I had to read the bottom of my screen. <laughs> so. Do we have enough iron for a anvil i'm i'm remembering that you might actually need to buy an anvil from a certain other npc but npcs once you get a certain requirement met they'll just spawn in as long as they have a house they can move into oh interesting so for now i'm gonna make a second house for a, another npc do do weapons and uh Armor ever deteriorate? No durability. No durability. Uh, no durability. Oh wow! I'm invincible. Yeah, but to make a house qualify as a NPC house, you need to have a table, a chair, a door, and then torches inside. So it's a little more. <laughs> Some other Seems pretty straightforward, though. You can basically do all that with yeah. wood, right? Yeah. Most things can be. Mm. 
I have these acorns. Uh, those are for planting trees so you can get infinite wood. I got an achievement for planting trees, apparently. <laughs> there are a lot of achievements in this game. I can tell you that now. Hmm. My instincts are being activated. <laughs> <laughs> so many achievements. Uh, let's see. I've got a Fortunately, a grapefruit. Oh, That's cool. Ah, uh, yes. Food will sometimes drop from hitting trees. Yeah. Unfortunately, NPCs will only spawn during the daytime, so we'll have to wait till then. Oh, uh, we've got another night to get through. Yes, unfortunately. Mm. Okay, understood. Uh... A worm. Oh, actually. Oh. I oh. guess we just hit day. Or we just missed day, so he actually managed to spawn before night fell. Yep, there's the music shift. That was really close. Hello, uh, Christian, the merchant. Yeah, so the uh, the funny thing is, this is the guy we needed because he sells an anvil. Indeed. So let me just buy that real quick. I'll place it down in here. So oh, wow. we have an anvil. Okay. Which can be made, used to make tools after we make things out of bars. I forgot a step. <laughs> we need to get stone. We need, <laughs> we need to make a furnace. Stone? I don't. Do you sell a furnace too? It's not. These Zambos need to calm down. Also, he, he sells arrows for me. This is very helpful. How long is the uh, day-night cycle in this game? Uh, I don't actually know. I know it's like from... I know night is from, I believe, 7.30 to 4.30. And seconds or minutes. So if you want to calculate that out. Seconds or minutes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The way that owl hoots, I thought it was happening like outside my house. Just nine minutes, I think. <laughs> it's gonna times by 60 and then divide by 60. It's gonna be the same number. <laughs> so it's nine minutes for nighttime. <laughs> I'm also gonna place the chests I mine down for storage. I've defeated the squirrel menace. I also have discovered another star. Let's go. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So, real quick, cobble platforms, and then I'm just gonna blow a hole in the ground. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. What was that? Was that one of your grenades? No, those are bombs. Just to get a early mine shaft started. 
Because eventually you're gonna want to blast a hole all the way down to hell. I was I was wondering about that actually. So I'm just gonna cover this up with platforms, which you can just fall through, which is very nice. But I got a couple bombs here, so let's go ahead with the rest of them, I suppose. Sounds dangerous. Completely safe. Face it, fall damage was like scary here. It is, but as long as you don't fall, you're fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what if I yeah. put. Ah, oh. oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know. Almost like. It's like synchronized diving. <sighs> what if I just put a rope? Well, what, if, what if I just put a rope you here? You can actually put a rope. That is, that is the main goal. Just to rope it all the way until we get wings. It's very nice that rope just falls, though. I can actually assist you because I also have rope. Okay. And when it stops clicking, you know you've hit the bottom. Beautiful. So, I'm gonna try and mine out some stone real quick. Just enough to make a furnace. Which I think is like 20 or so. I don't know how much it is. I don't know where they're making a furnace, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I'm gonna take, take care of our uh, zombie and demon eye problem over here. <laughs> Very nice. All right. I don't think that's enough rope. Rope stone. It is. All right. Ooh, I actually oh, saw oh. saw the star fall. That was pretty cool. Get out of here. Okay. Now we've got the furnace, so now any ore we mine can be turned into bars, and then those bars can be turned into weapons at the anvil, which are conveniently placed right next to it. That is smart. <laughs> you can only drink one health potion a minute. Oh yeah, there's a timer, so you can't just be invincible with it. Okay make the game too easy. <laughs> okay. Wow, this guy gave me 19 torches. <laughs> Dude's just carrying like a full stack of torches. Although a full stack is like 999, isn't it, in this game? Uh, I believe it's more. I believe it's 9,999. 9, oh, 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 wow. Yeah, big stacks. It's, uh, you got some, to see, so. got some pockets. All right. So... I think this time we'll try and head to the right and see if it's less dangerous. <laughs> if it is still just as dangerous, we'll probably just try and mine down. Ooh. I can see that you're faster than me. Yeah, I was gonna just say. Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, little amulet. I got a better bow now, so I can actually just like, shoot enemies. So I bought like 200 arrows. Wait, sunflowers actually give off light? Oh yeah, sunflowers give off light, and they also have a buff that increases movement speed and reduces the amount of monsters that spawn nearby. So I'm actually going to take these so we can put them around our base. Oh, that's awesome. Very helpful for boss arenas. For... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you heard me. There are bosses. In this game. I, I knew. Not I knew two. that. I knew that there were bosses. The idea of creating a boss arena was oh, uh, yeah, it's fun. new to me. 
Down, down, Things down we go. Soon. Hi, we have hit a desert. Oh, interesting. This desert look... is also slightly more dangerous, but I can see this. Could just be a hole in the sand here. <laughs> that is. Uh... Doesn't that look like a antlion hole? Well, the thing is, there are ant plants in this game, but they don't dig. Oh. I mean, this is exactly the type of hole that an ant lion would make. So, I'm actually going to dig down this, because there might be something down here. There's a torch. Okay. I'm gonna kill so some... If you see, like, a one-block hole like this, sometimes there's a little area underneath that has a sword inside. A sword? It's a very odd looking hole. And down here? It doesn't look like it. it looks like it's just a hole for some reason. Oh, there's something. Over this way. Uh, that's just a cave. Just Sometimes a cave, she door. says. Just a cave. Nah, you'll know when you find the thing I was talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah, we should yeah. probably not go here, because this is... The desert is actually exceptionally dangerous at this stage of the game. Got it. Yeah, I'm just placing rope everywhere, alright. I have some rope too if you run out. No, I've got quite a bit. Okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't say I have quite a bit. I would say I have a bit. Is that a weather balloon in the background? Yeah, the background has a lot of weird details that don't actually matter. Huh. Can you make weather balloons in this game? Oh, 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 actually, look right below us. I believe we have a pyramid. Oh, that's cool. If you look at the ground, it's a different texture. So I would mine along the sides here, and we'll see if we can find an entrance and entrance. We'll entrench ourselves until we can find an entrance. I don't know if you can mine it. No, you can just actually, we can just mine directly into it. Let's just go down. It'd be less aggravating than trying to mine for the sand. You know, I haven't actually seen a pyramid in game before. Oh, I do see a scorpion up there. That does not look good. The scorpions are fine, they don't do any damage. Wait, they don't? Okay. That actually is like real to life. <laughs> oh, yep, here we go. The entrance was on the wrong side. That would have taken us forever. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, how about that? It's just like right there. So let us explore down, because pyramids usually have chests in them. <gasps> like Ooh. so. Oh, that one spawned a money pool. <laughs> it's got 10 gold. Dang! Okay, nice. Oh, that is some fantastic loot. This chest here contained a sandstorm in a bottle, which is a second jump. That's which, cool. Which, fantastically enough, can cancel fall damage if you time it right. <laughs> that is fantastic. Um... Maybe we will find another. There are many variations on the bottles, though. There is Cloud in a Bottle, Blizzard, Tsunami, and Sandstorm. Cloud in a Bottle is the most average one. This goes a little deeper than I thought it would. <laughs> there's the end. Seems there's nothing else. This is just a cave. Oh, man. Just a cave. Yeah. Nice thing about the sandstorm one is that it lifts you up a little bit more after the jump. Oh, nice. It spins me around as well. Oh, 
I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. There we go. Just gotta parkour it. Bad at platformers. <laughs> You'll get there. I, I maybe. This game seems fun. It is fun. It's I a lot more fun when you get to the end game though, because the weapons are way cooler. Oh yeah, yeah. I can. I. I'm glad. I'm glad we did this because I can see how a, a guide is very helpful. Oh, hey, Khan, how's it going? Destroying Aiken, destroying ancient architecture. SMH. Look, it looked at me. They're all dead. Who it, cares? Lo it looked at me funny. We are, uh, <laughs> we're 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 here uh, beating up on. Ooh. A lot of flying enemies in this game. Yeah, there are many. But I guess that I guess that's probably good because it's, you know, 2D, right? Okay. You use There's all this space. Pool. We should dig down and check. Okay. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. Okay, Andy. What's your favorite movie archaeologist? I have no I, I don't think I know any by name. <laughs> well, okay, there's Indiana Jones. There's Nick Cage from... Oh, that's a, okay, the thing is, I kind of forgot Indiana Jones was an archaeologist. I haven't watched those movies in forever. Oh, it's like nothing. Nothing down here. Really hoping we'll find what I'm looking for, but till then, just have to keep exploring. Sad. Uh, Laura Croft is also technically a movie archaeologist. I feel like she would be a video game one before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this isn't Minecraft. Yeah, I know. What is going on? Someone steamwashed our Minecraft. <laughs> Someone has put. You have trouble there. <laughs> nope, I'm fine. Somebody has put the Minecraft in the smusher. Actually, I'm just gonna throw away my copper short sword. I'm not allowed to use it anymore. <laughs> Ranger only, <laughs> as it has been decreed, because otherwise the game would be too easy for me. Viper the Rapper is my favorite archaeologist. Oh, we're out of the desert. Oh wow. Yeah, we made it through. And onto a mountainous sort of area, huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. Try not to use my double jump. Yeah, just remember, just remember, just remember, I'm I'm not double jumpable. Oh, well, this is a pretty cave. Ooh, yeah. what's in here? An angry step stool. What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's some up damage. Let's go. <laughs> Up damage on the the. Uh, his... No, it's just pure damage. It increases the damage of all your equipment. It's like an enchantment. Oh, okay. Wait, that's so actually yeah, now, now that's you... actually good. Yeah. I'm going to. So yeah, now if you have that equipped, it makes your sword do more damage, of course. I'm going to equip the angry step stool. A good idea. Also, the step stools work differently than I expected. Yeah, they ca they don't actually let you jump off them, which is kind of annoying. They kind of just raise you up so you can. It's easier to craft things that are above you. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. This is this is how we do the crouch at Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, I don't actually know who Viper the Rapper is, Khan. You must explain to me who is this Viper and why is he proficient with rocks? Also, archaeology is not about rocks, that's geology. Archaeology is about historical artifacts. Yes, yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't think that's what that was. Oh, what's this? A little rock area? Yeah, a little, little granite area. This game is like extremely ominous. Oh, ah, we've got some angry plants over here. 
Angry plants. Oh, indeed. It's weird that you can't climb up vines. I'm gonna say that. There. Okay, so you, technically you can turn vines into vine rope, which you can then climb, but you know. Okay, there we go. It's safe to come up now. Why can't I place rope? Oh, because there's no background? Yeah, rope has to be placed on background or next to a block. Ah. Ah, speaking of which... <laughs> here, I'll actually just give you this. It, w w wait, that was way too fast. Plant guide... Allows the collection it's, it's, of vine rope plant. from vines. Yeah, so you can just equip that and now you'll be able, every time you break a vine, it'll give you vine rope. Indeed. That's free rope. That's free rope. Okay, I'm just gonna mine Jesus cave because I don't want to go over the mountain. Mm. Viper the rapper wrote, "Yul cowards don't even smoke crack." Ah, uh, yes, I know what that is. Oh, <clears throat> don't you know, Viper the rapper, that you're perpetuating a cycle of of. Uh, Societal violence. Yeah. I would also make sure to turn off smart cursor when you're fighting. I can tell that you had it on. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm 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 still getting used to the, the controls. Yeah. Smart cursor is better when you're using specific weapons that need to be targeted directly. Alright, oh, I forgot to mine the chest. Yeah, how do you You is have it... to use a pickaxe? The axe is literally only for trees. Huh. Okay, you have tunneled through here with incredible speed. <laughs> uh, not, ex not exactly fast, but... Oh, don't eat, like... Mine gets, a, mine gets a whole lot faster. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Don't, don't downplay it just because you've seen the, like, okay, endgame no, God's, is, God's I've, spine I've, pickaxe or whatever it's called. <laughs> Okay, but the thing is, I've literally dug all the way to hell with a with a copper pickaxe. Oh, another chest. Ah, fine, the one of sparking. This one's a nice, fun weapon. It's literally the first magic weapon in the game. <laughs> Just suits a little fire. Oh, oh nice. hey, another chest. This one has uh an iron skin potion. Those are good. We want as many of those as we can possibly get. Okay. Good chest then. Also got an intrepid step stool. Yeah, you can only equip one of each type of equipment, so it's not better than the one you have. I can just sell it when we get back. Okay. Uh, speaking of which, should we return? Not quite. I'd like to hit like an area that we can't get past okay viper the rapper apparently also wrote 300 albums in a year that's a lot of albums that's like uh that's like taking uh like one day a week off <laughs> uh, and then making an album every day oh i made it get wrecked I mean, can you say that they're good albums, is the real question. That's fair. <laughs> oh, wait, I've made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> do you respawn back at spawn? Yeah, but I have a potion that teleports me to you, so it'll be fine. Uh, could I instead teleport to you? I would rather we keep going for now. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not good albums. I mean, that makes sense. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, hold on.
hold on. I think we need to be in the same party. Are we not? You would think that, but I don't believe we are. Because there's a way to set parties, I think. I will accept whatever party request comes my way. If you tell me how to do if such a get... thing. Oh, wait. I'm just going to teleport back home. Uh, there we go. Okay. No, hold on. So go into your equip menu on the right side. Like in your inventory, but on the right side by all the green bars that are on the right. Yeah. There's a little, there's like six symbols that are underneath the swords at the top. Yeah. Click on the red one. Red. Hello. I came back already. Oh well. Wow. I'm. I didn't mean to. I just happened to have the recall potion <laughs> clicked. Nah, well, it's fine. Okay. At this point, we probably just have some mining to do anyway. Me. Put some platforms in here so we can travel up here. Oh, that's... Uh, oh, boy. I love that mechanic. Oh, yeah, it's a real nice. Uh, there's a goldfish outside. Yeah. <laughs> he's inside now. Training. He's vibe. Oh, well, now he's not. <laughs> okay, I, I got us a piggy bank here. <laughs> he was... He was, uh... uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't like him. I don't like him. He's evil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've got us a little piggy bank. This is like an individual chest for both of us. So we can just put our own stuff in here without having the other person being able to put it. I usually put ores in here. Just so they don't get sorted incorrectly. But that and valuables. And also coins go into the chest. How do I. Thing. How do I select it? So, unfortunately, we have some boys just right here, but if you smart cursor and then ho hover over the piggy bank, you should be able to open it. I see, I see. Okay, so what do we yeah, put in I'll the put, piggy bank? Uh, all of your coins that we're holding, and then any ores, I would say. Those are going to be the main things we're keeping for now. Ores. Do I even have any ores? Oh, I have some iron ore. Yeah. Because money that's in your piggy bank can be used anywhere, so that's also good. Oh, that's really good. Why do I have a bomb? I don't know anything. You probably got it from a <laughs> pot. Okay. The goldfish do be strutting, but not anymore. <laughs> you ended him. I didn't. I didn't. Poor boy. Okay, I found another goldfish. This is just one of those things, like the goldfish in Terraria. Getting... They, they, they walk. I don't understand why our demolitionist and <laughs> crafter are just standing directly on top of each other. It makes it impossible to interact with them. Can we convince them to, uh, move? There we go. There we go. Hey, look at that. Stuck on the terrain or something. <laughs> Hi, Fecod. Place this, place this stuff back. Dang, Fecod's got a mad health pool. <laughs> Ours will be bigger, but I need to buy me some lead dynamite. I'm gonna blast a bit more into our hole over here. <laughs> Oh, I have some bombs, too. Dynamite's a bit of a chunkier explosion. Oh. 
Ah, fucking ghost. Give me out the rope. Ready to go. Oh, that was a little uh, scary. I'm lighting the mine shaft because we're civilized here, you know? Of course. I mean, we are using, uh... Massive amounts of explosives, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm out of rope. <laughs> oh, God. I have invented gravity. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, I did give you fair warning there, I did see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of rope. Where, where's the rope gone? Nobody knows. There never was a rope. It was fake. Give me into your imagination. Oh, uh, Isa, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy listening to me suffer in the background. Down, down, down the rope goes. So my main goal for now is going to be acquiring some iron ore to make a full set of armor out of. Oh, okay. Maybe platinum if we can find some. Because most of the early tier ores can all be mined with a copper pickaxe, so it's just slower. <laughs> that and finding heart crystals. You will know when you find a heart crystal because it's a big ass crystal that looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. And it gives you plus 20 more HP. Up to 400. Oh right wow. Right now we have 100. <laughs> That's cool. Got a little bit of ore here. So what's this down here? This is this water? Yes, it is water. There are a lot of underground water. <laughs> Where are the crystals that stop the five G waves? Uh, those are you won't find those till later. <laughs> <laughs> He coming. Oh, he's not chilling anymore. I, uh... Ah, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a uh, boulder above this area right here. I'm guessing that you see do not. So there are traps underground, and there is actually a... Uh, a little old uh, pressure plate down there. So yeah, don't stand right there. <laughs> Literally anywhere but right there. Uh, how do you swim? You can't. You oh. Can't drown. Gotcha. Unless you can mine your way out. I'm prepared to die. I'm I'm prepared to. <laughs> All right, combo. Nice. Got both of us because I jumped across at that instant. <laughs> Second. Ooh. Oh, you killed me. I did not mean to. How could you do such a thing? I didn't mean to kill you. Oh my god, the fallen stars. Also, There's you should know. three of them. Four of them. Wait, why are there no enemies? Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. oh wait, they disappeared. Because we weren't by here. Okay. The thing I should know is is that there is a button at the bottom right of your inventory that says quick stack to nearby chests. That'll just send all the stuff that we have in chests to stack into it so you don't have to sort everything yourself. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. So like, say, here, let me put in like one dirt block into this chest here. 
Quick stack to nearby chests. Select. It'll just, yeah, it'll just instantly suck out the things in your inventory and stack them. Okay, well, apparently I have a lot of things in my inventory that aren't in chests. Well, that's because that's because we haven't put anything in our chests yet. Wait, what if I? Okay, which I'm gonna place these sunflowers outside. What if I make a little platform here? Oh wow, you can You can uh Wow, you can build quite a interesting Oh yeah, there's quite a distance, yeah. Yeah. Pretty far, it's very nice. I do like the stool. It is a little helpful for mining above you, yeah. It's handy. Vegan scary cave. Okay, and I believe our third tier of ore is tungsten, not platinum. Uh, is there... Again, is there a difference? No, it's just they look a little different, but they they function the same. Oh, I found some cobwebs. So tungsten is what we're gonna yeah, tungsten is what we're gonna be looking for. <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize that and I made a tungsten bow already, so I'm I'm set for a while. <laughs> Fantastic. good. We need to get some better armor <laughs> at the moment. What's wrong with, uh, what's wrong with wood? Because it's very weak. It gives you, like, three defense. It's barely anything. Yeah, it's literally three defense. Yeah, we've also got some glow sticks, which are nice for mining, because you can just throw one, and it's affected by gravity, so you can kind of just dig with it. Oh, that's super... Super cool. Yeah, we're looking for mingles or tungsten, heart crystals, and underground little buildings. Because those can have ch those have chests in them that have the loot. I see. I see. Yeah, let me uh, let me join you. Two of us in my room go much quicker. <laughs> but can you drink the glow sticks? It's a it's an anti health potion. Yeah, that's a that's just can you poison? It's poison. Ooh, more iron ore. Let's go. A little more below as well. Why 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 call it poison when you can just call it uh, anti health potion? Most people know what poison is. I like I like to I like to experience the world as if I was a benevolent benevolent alien. <laughs> looking at looking at human culture for the very first time. Like you've got the you've got the prefix anti, just use it. Why is there a mouse underwater? Because he's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Double. <laughs> 
Con Con hitting me with uh, the literally 1984 uh, memes here. <laughs> I guess we haven't really found anything good yet, though. I'm, I'm incredibly surprised how deep this all goes. Oh, we're not even close to deep. Like, zoom out on the map. How do I do such a thing? Uh, it's like select on the controller. Okay, select. Oh, there's it's a. Like the op Sorry, I. Yeah. I was playing. I was playing with the map off. <laughs> oh right, I forget what it's on normally. It might be on pause. I think then. Mhm. Mm yeah, no, that's right. No, I'm talking like a full screen map. Like yeah. Just pull out the entire world map. Let me. Let me. I'm not uh... sure what button it's on. <laughs> Yeah, is it the is it the start button instead? Let's see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I can see I can see all the places we've uh, gone. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, those just save. But yeah, if you zoom out all the way, you can see how far down we can still go. <laughs> oh. We barely scratched the surface. Oh goodness. So this is the entire yeah, world. Right. You start with like a, yes, a map the, of the entire which, world. Yes, that is our map, and we explore it as we go. Wow. And it doesn't take up an inventory slot. It's very nice. That's so cool. I love it. You know what this reminds me of? What does it remind you of? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I don't want to dig here. <laughs> I've never played the well actually it's a lot. I played it once. We didn't go for very long. <laughs> yeah, I I find that D D is one of those games where it's like you're there's two ways of playing it. There's oh my gosh, everybody is like playing their OCs and we're all having like a just you know it's a get drunk kind of game, right? <laughs> but then the other yeah. way the other way to play it is more like, uh... Are you having trouble getting those pots? Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about it. They're not going to have anything super important. <laughs> I'm... I'm just looking for a really good cave. But so far, these are all pretty small ones. Well, you've gone... Maybe. You've gone where I can't follow. Oh, yeah, big baby. Just place a platform. <laughs> I don't know how to place a platform. Bro, it's the same button as placing everything. All right, I'll do it. Was it wood? Do it. It's just. There, you're good. You can just fall down now. Okay, thank you. Um, how, how do you make platforms? Ah, oh, that's a heart crystal. Yes. So this is a heart crystal. You grab it, you use it, you have 20 more health. Congratulations. I know well done. I just need a whole bunch more of those. And we need twice as many because there's two of us. How many heart crystals generally spawn in in the world? Uh, enough. It's going to be enough, but there's there's way more than you need in the world. Okay. Oh, my but once flipping... you're maxed out, it's still good to pick them up because they sell for one gold each. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, but no, how this reminds me of D and D, because I'm I'm in my head I'm comparing this to Minecraft, obviously, right? Oh well, yeah, of course. And hello, one of the one of the downfalls of D and D is that as people have um, come up with better ways to play tabletop RPGs, D&D &D is very much stuck in the way of 
like the six ability stats and rolling with the d20 and all this sort of stuff that is very D and D, but also um, kind of kind of not outdated. yeah outdated, right? And so I'm I'm seeing all these cool things that Terraria can do, and I'm like, why does not Minecraft do this? Ah, of course, the answer is because Minecraft is Minecraft and Minecraft wants to act like Minecraft. And, uh, yeah. Also, benefit of glow sticks, they work on the water. <laughs> Yo, that's cool. A boulder. Ah, that means there's a cave underneath. Luckily, Ooh. you can just literally mine the boulder and then it won't fall. So let me just break that. There we go. Thoughts on Hero Quest? It's a cracking good game. Get out of here before we drown. I know, I know the meme. I know the hero quest memes. I will say, I will say that a lot of the points that guy makes in the hero quest video are absolutely on the money, though. Oh, here we go. We got some ruby here. Oh, topaz. Ruby. Topaz. It's not ruby. Did you ever watch? Also good. Did you ever watch Ruby? No. Oh God. Oh, hey, no, that's a fairy. They're friendly. Oh. Especially friendly because they direct you to where loot is. So let's follow that fairy. I was, I was, I was ready to throw hands. Nah, it's a friendly one. Ah, fuck. Oh. You killed your platform real quick. How do you build platforms? Same way as you do to hold everything else. So in your menu, do you know do you know do you know how to craft? No. Okay, so pull up your inventory. <laughs> I don't know anything. Okay. I have Crafting is at the bottom left. That's all the stuff you can make. That that vertical top yeah, that far. I can make a mana crystal. Yeah. And you should. You should make one and use it. But at the very top, or near it, there should be platforms that are made of wood. And you get one for every... You get two for every wood that you make, or you use. Wood platform. I see, I see. Yep. Cactus platform. Star in a bottle. Workbench. Cactus workbench. Copper uh, coin. Here's what the fairy was showing us. There's another heart crystal. Oh, sick. I'll let you have this one. I would appreciate that. Um, okay. Star power! Yeah, now I have two mana crystals. That's pretty cool. Bardic, Bardic's Hero Quest video is factually correct in every way. You're so right. There you go. Thank you. You're a deer. Um, no oh, I think this is actually your your cat, I believe. But uh, I am a deer. <laughs> okay. Yes. Tungsten. Oh my gosh! There's a there's a lot I can make. Holy crap! Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Especially when you're standing next to a crafting table, there's a ton. Luckily, if you press the left bumper one more time, it'll show you like all the things you can craft, like sort it out, so you can just pick a specific thing. It'll take you exactly to where it is. After. I've made a few platforms. It's always good to have a ton. <laughs> this is this is kind of the equivalent of having uh, dirt blocks in uh, Minecraft. Eh? Oh wait, tungsten is the equivalent equivalent of silver. We actually have one more tier. It's gold or platinum. That's the next one. Which in this game, gold is actually the second is the highest tier of war that ones naturally. <laughs> oh really? It's not a it's not a meme like Minecraft's gold. It's because especially since there's no durability. Yeah, so gold is actually really good. Okay, I wouldn't say it's really good. It's still a really game stock, but it's the best 
stuff that you can just mine out of the ground. Oh, cool. I'll pick up all this tungsten anyway, though, because we'll need it for armor and the like. And I better pickaxe eventually, because ours kind of suck. Uh, I've not noticed that they suck, but I'll take your word for They're, it. They are. When you get a new one, you'll know. It'll feel so much better. It'll just be it burrowing like moles. It's like, this this pickaxe is basically someone who's only ever played on 30 FPS. <laughs> you don't know it's bad until you try it a 60 FPS computer, and then the rest of them keep going up. Considering I'm currently playing a like you know, 32-bit Pokemon game on this channel. I feel yeah, well, that count. a little called out. Not the same thing. Come on, no. Surprised me if we found any underground construction. I forget. I don't actually know what it's called. I'm just calling it. Things, but I don't know the actual name. Structures. Uh. That might actually be it. <laughs> But yeah, I saw a really interesting post the other day where basically these older it said it said how these older institutions kind of work is they've stopped trying to improve the quality of their product and instead they focus on building a uh identity. Yeah, that that seems about right. I would agree with that. So, so that way, if... Oh, look at that, a little stairs. Yeah, you can make stairs with platforms. Ugh. So that way they don't, they don't have to innovate. They just, you know. More of the same, yes. Oh my God, I love, I love the stairs. Oh yeah, they're very nice. Yeah, and then and then their their brand is more. Oh, we found one finally. A good cave. It's a minecart. <laughs> let's let's go. A good cave. We got it. We actually have minecarts that we start with. Wait, what? We can ride this. I'm just. Uh... So I forget what the button is. But you should be able to just hop in a minecart. Try it. Try left, left toggle stick. Ah, there it is. Let's ride to the left. Ooh. Yes, these go pretty fast. Oh god, I'm very concerned. That was very Wait, hold on. Hold on. So cold. Oh my god, look at that gold deposit. That's pretty it's big. Massive. That's pretty big. Get this. Okay. Here, here, I'll, I'll go on the top. You can get the stuff that's on the bottom. Okay. With my handy dandy platforms. Is even the base pickaxe can still mine gold ore? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Con, you didn't have to say it. We all were thinking it. multiple civilizations over a simple shiny rock. Are we talking- are you still talking about the Industrial Revolution? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about- no, I'm talking about the Spanish Inquisition from the American school show. I switched. Ooh, I just mined something. Uh, what? I don't know. All of a sudden, I have 10 minutes of a bunch of cool effects. Oh? Interesting. Yeah, what? Let me, let me uh -huh. use my mouse. Wait, what is that? Well-fed, iron salamander? skin, oh, shine, mining, and oh, swiftness. Oh, you, you click the quick, you click, you click the quick potion button. 
Oh, did I? It just uses one. It uses one of every type of potion in the game that you have. I did not know there was a, a quick potion button. A salamander. I got a compass. Oh, I died. Hard. Uh, if you died, I'm definitely gonna die here. Yeah, run. What is hitting me? Uh, unfortunate. Dang. Well, but we only drop. I only drop we got, uh, we got a, money, we right? Got a lot of good loot. Yeah, all you drop is money. Oh, you placed the sunflowers. Yeah. All right. Let's hit this quick stack to nearby chests button. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Ain't it? It's so good. Okay, why? Why can I not make a ghoul pickaxe? What is this? Water leaf, blink root, and acorns. Let's I put a gold pick. The oh, you need wood. Why do you need wood? <laughs> you do not need wood for a lot of pickaxes later. That's weird. Yeah, I need to take out some. Do 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 do. I have a compass. Displays horizontal position. Oh yeah, the compass is very helpful. It tells you how deep or how far left and right you are. Spawn you are. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. When your mouth is running dry, keep it high. Hold on, baby. Wormhole potion, indeed. Uh, golden gravestone. What is an active stone block? Uh, so that's that... like a block that has a it's it's like a block that has a wire in it. Ah, uh, so it's a, the equivalent of redstone, essentially? Uh, kind of. If you remember that block that the, uh, the boulder fell through, it's so when the, when the pressure plate gets hit, it turns the block into, like, a background block. Oh. So that way stuff can fall through it, yeah. That's pretty dang cool. So that's how that works. Tungsten, iron, and, and gold. So now I have a the gold pickaxe with a gold ball. I would make a gold pickaxe too if you have the materials for one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to know. sell some extra crap I have. Ah, uh, yeah. Just talk to any guy who actually sells them usually does. Should I keep a lens? Lenses are very important to keep those. Okay. Thank you for being entertaining and not condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very oh, dumb. No, <laughs> very dumb. No, I, I get it. You haven't played the game before. <laughs> that could be me. You do a lot of... Um, collabs with uh i do i i've noticed with folks that's pretty cool i'm, I'm... i stream more with other people than i do just on my own well i i tend to do more solo stuff but yeah i think i think collabing is kind of you know you gotta you gotta find the people who actually are like I don't know, I don't wanna say good at it, but that you mesh with. Entertaining to play with. Yeah. Gotta mix well. Mm hmm I mean this we 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 should have been collabing a long time ago because we already knew that we <laughs> no. mesh well. <laughs> after you helped me beat uh what's it called? 
getting over it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one. That one was fun, though. I really love that game. I hate that game, but I love the game. I, I think it's a way better game than Jump King. Oh, yeah. Jump King, Jump King is so much harder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's unbelievably more hard. Okay. So if I go into my menu, I'm near a crafting table. Is that right? Yes, as long as you're standing near it, you can craft stuff. Oh, there's achievements. Yeah. You just open them right up, yeah. Oh, God. There's so many. <laughs> Slayer. Okay, so there's three armor slots, head, chest, and feet, huh? Yep. Tin short sword, tin. So should I get tin stuff? Yeah, I would make the highest tier of armor that you can and the chest plate first. Okay, well, I have some tin bars, so I yeah. think I can make... Did you get your, like, how much gold did you have, actually? Uh, I had 22 gold ore. Ah, uh, that's, that's not enough to pick, I don't think, is it? I don't know, I put it all in the piggy bank. Uh, no, you need 12, or 10. Okay, actually, no, I don't have that much. I used all mine. <laughs> make a bow. <laughs> so many achievements. A completionist dream or a nightmare? Seems like it's time for us to go back down. Uh, Stuff we need to collect. Yes, let me... Yeah, empty out your chest. Blocks in here. All right, I'm going to make tin armor. Oh my goodness, that used everything. <laughs> yeah, that goes like that. My goodness. Gold or tin, I think. Okay. Let me throw my extra stuff in the piggy bank. Let me equip my armor. And then I can get rid of this wood stuff. Hey, shopkeep. Buy my stuff. Sell it after. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, I'm ready to. Oh, actually, I could sell my old pickaxe. I don't need it. But for comparison's sake, this is how quick I'm going now. That does seem faster. It is much faster. <laughs> All right. Down we go. <laughs> the lowly shopkeep, the true MVP. Move up a little bit. I got some more dynamite. Okay. Last a bit more of a hole. Yeah, I did notice there's a little uh, uh, area over here. Uh, but how are you tonight, Shaman Fire? I can say tonight because I know what time zone you're in. Ha 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 ha. Point. We should probably head back to where we were because there was some good. We finally hit a big cave, so let's just follow our path. Uh, the walk of shame. <laughs> Returning to whence we came. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give me a moment. <laughs> I 
<laughs> art time? Just mine down next to it. Late night art time, huh? Damn it, no, don't go too far. Character. <laughs> Change your fist. Do you find... Well, I already know the answer to this question. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask if you find yourself to be a night person or a morning person. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I love the morning. So, screw the morning. <laughs> Me and my homies. <laughs> we got some oh, beef with... Yep. We got some beef with the morning. We can just go... There's a platform. Could be just gone down. <laughs> Oh, nice. Got to put a torch up there so we remember. Actually, I can just do that now. It's like in reach. Get out of here. Late art time is the best art time. Mm -hmm. I tried to ice, to ice skate uphill. I tried to slip in. <laughs> what, was, what does that mean? <laughs> the messages are a bit random. I wouldn't pay him too much money. Okay. Well, I'm on my way back. Well, I will. I will wait. <laughs> Good thing I have that little amulet that speeds me up ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. It's all you need. So the background changing really helps determine like where you oh, yeah. it determines how far are. down the ground you are. I've hit a roadblock. I'm coming. Give me just a minute. Uh-huh. Perhaps navigability should have been a bigger priority for us. Maybe. Yeah, you can just fall down here. Ah, oh, sweet. That'll work. Okay. So you actually can fall uh, quite a ways without damage. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good distance. Okay, slick. 4K no los dos. Uh, Night person and morning person. It's not healthy. Yeah. But eventually we'll find either some floating islands or something like that that'll give us stuff that negates fall damage altogether. <laughs> floating islands? Is that what you yeah, said? They're just yeah, they're sky islands. They just they're basically clouds that have stuff on them. Huh. Who needs sleep? Well, you're never gonna get it. Who needs sleep? Tell me what's that for? Ah, my oh, stairs! <laughs> Finally. And uh, here we are. Let's try it right this time. <laughs> Gold. Give me. I'm just, I'm just gonna uh... scoot on by. Do 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 do. Get back here. <laughs> Not very far this way. Is that more gold? No, that's sand. Just sand. It's a big cave, though. Ooh. Big cave. What's the blue stuff? Mold? I think it's just grass. Oh, here we go. We've got some amethyst here. Pick that up. I've, stones are pawed. I've been stopped. Okay. Any life crystals. 
There's no buildings. Where are all the buildings? I need them. I don't know. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Just poking, ar poking around. We're not really finding anything. <laughs> what do you mean? We're finding all sorts of stuff. Look, I've just discovered uh, that silt makes me hurt. Silt also falls, yes. That is the other block of gravity. We're finding friendship. <laughs> is the real friendship a friend who went along the way? Or is a massive school of gulps? Did you ever read the comic, um, oh god, I can't remember what it's called. Did you ever read web comics? You know, uh, some? I really like web comics. Some very good ones. Web comics almost instantly had this kind of appeal where you could find a webcomic and uh, like nobody would know what you're talking about, but you're like, I swear it's 300 pages, but it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I've done that a few times. Just read an entire one front and back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, how's this left path coming? Oh. It's, it's Interesting. Deep. A little here. I've got some rope. Give me a second. That sandstorm in the bottle is insanely good. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gotta find you one. Oh. oh well, okay. Ooh. If there is Minecraft is building in 3D and Terraria is building in 2D, is there a game for building in 1D? I would say Line Rider, right? <laughs> I mean, basically, yeah. Oh, I found a gold ore. Let's go. Just the one, though. Oh my God, that's like 20 crams of gold. We're rich. 20 crams. Oh, uh, oh, you found the rest. I found the rest of it, yeah. I'll, 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 let, you, I'll let you have that. Oh, actually, there's a little over here on the way. But did you ever read uh, Questionable Content? What? The webcomic. Oh, we found a building! Oh my god! Some building. A mace. That is terrible. I can't use that. I will give it to you. <laughs> you just have to play. Let's get out of the water. Or go into the water. You can't swim, bro. Open, open I found the door. The water out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Take this mace. It's a good weapon. Uh, okay. That'll be your new main weapon for now. I'll I'll take your word for it. You read questionable content every Sunday. <laughs> ah, that's because Khan does um, streams Katawa Shoujo on Sundays. Uh, yes. That is indeed questionable content. Ah, Venom. Oh, here we go. Here's a... Hello. Uh, welcome, we welcome. I'm I'm well. Uh, Playing Terraria for the very first time, learning from Master Amy. It's an interesting thing to be called. Oh boy, I was real close to dying there. Uh, that's why the water is here. So that we know that wherever... Oh wait, maybe not. Because the water can just keep going down. Enjoying it so far? I, I have things to say about it. I like it. You safe? Need a path. Sick. Ooh, just got shot by a poison dart. What? What? What is this tree? Is this tree an enemy? 
It, no, it, it's literally just a tree. Why is it underground? Because it's cool Cause like it's that. It's a gem tree. <laughs> it's a gem tree. Oh, that's so cool. So I, I hear spiders, I think. It's either that or the salamander we left behind. Terraria hot take. Hmm. Do you have any Terraria hot takes, Amy? What? The thing is, I don't really talk to other people that play the game very much, so I don't really have any... I don't know what opinions would be bad. Yeah, there's that meme, meme going around that's like, what's your opinion that would have you, like, with all the swords yeah. pointed at you? I hate that photo. I leave Eugene alone. There's, they use that picture too much. And I'm just like, what makes you think that I seek out fights with people? Uh, there's something flying around. Yeah, it's just a big worm. It'll, it'll die. Okay. I believe you. Oh, I need to breathe! <laughs> I, I did not get to breathe quick enough. We're one block away from freedom, but I didn't make it. Oh! Wow. Yeah, we don't start we don't start fights on this channel. But I will say here's here's my true hot take is that I'm my back. hello. Glad I didn't die. Okay, health. Heart crystal. I, I'm going to take that. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Apparently, I need more help. <laughs> you're you're the you're the vanguard, so uh, that's fine. I got a tombstone. Uh, tombstones you can just trash. They just fill up your inventory. Gotcha. Uh, Minecraft hot take is that Minecraft is being held back by Ooh. insisting Actually, on being Minecraft. Isaac, mine to your left, you got some rubies right there behind the dirt. Oh shoot, yeah, you're right. I will take that. Because yeah, if you get 15 of a certain gem type, you can make a hook. A uh, hook? Which will let you grapple. Yeah, it's got a- this game has grappling mechanics. Excellent. Which also means you can climb walls, because <laughs> it lets you hook to the same wall. You don't have to worry about fall damage anymore. All right. Here's the real question. Did I get 15 rubies? I got no 11. <laughs> That's sad. It was not big enough. We'll get, we'll find more. I do see some ore back here, though. So I'm going to go for it. Unfortunately, we can't mine the purple stuff yet. Uh, hilarious, hilariously, according to the compass, we are right under spawn. Oh, we doubled back. Somehow we've, we've gone all the way back around. There we go, finally in the cave. No, it's not, it's tiny. Fuck. Oh, wait, no, it is bigger. All right. Okay, I found a way down. I'm going to mine to this purple thing. Not gonna, you can't break it yet. Oh, really? Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I just said that. Ah, uh, sorry. Right before. Nah, I, I, I guess you just missed it. I have, I have very selective hearing. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Oh. The only bad thing about glow sticks is that they don't stay on the ground. They'll despawn after a little bit. Ah, uh, gotcha. So torches are permanent, but glow sticks are a little bit more flexible. Yeah. That's cool. Good trade-off. I found some gold. Mine it. I think Maybe I'm gonna mine it. Get right now. I think I'm gonna mine it from above. Oh wait, actually, there's a cave above you. Oh. At 
Yeah, actually, it's, it's kind of funny uh, that Shaman Fire is in chat right now because she and I are actually playing a D&D &D alternative for the exact same reason that I was discussing oh. earlier. Uh, that there are things that D&D &D just doesn't do well and insists on not changing because then it would be less D&D-ish. And identity entertainment is apparently everything these days. Okay, got some gold ore. I wouldn't head to the right because I don't know if we'd be able to get back. I'm just looking up here real quick. Okay. Being unable to swim is. Uh... Oh my god! I almost got hit. There's a boulder block right there. I didn't even see it. Huh. <laughs> Just miss that platform. It's lucky. Uh, there's a zombie with a headlamp. Undead miner. Oh, th those are important because they can give you. They can drop stuff. Where I'm coming. It's okay. I've learned how the mace works. Oh, he dropped a bomb. Yeah. Helpful. Thankfully, it wasn't like lit. <laughs> <laughs> Martyr, drop a grenade upon death. Man, I don't remember underground buildings being so uncommon. <laughs> Maybe we just got a unlucky seed. Maybe. Oh, we're just mining in the wrong spot. Ooh, your big one. Just flying. Is there like uh, one of the bosses is a slime, right? Two of them are. Oh, really? Get out of here. I don't know why I'm trying to mine underwater. That's not a good idea. The question, Nickelodeon slime, delicious or nah? I don't know how I would answer that question. Well, okay. The I don't have enough evidence to either. <laughs> <laughs> The slime is the slime is essentially uh, like cornstarch and water, right? So it's edible. But where's the flavor? I guess you could add flavor. <laughs> it's mid. <laughs> Absolutely I correct. Take that. I will take that at face value because I have no evidence to the contrary. And applesauce. Oh, what do you feel about applesauce? Applesauce is fantastic. I See, love applesauce. I don't like applesauce whatsoever. See, the thing is, I like applesauce because for quite a while, it was for like a period of like three months, it was the only thing I could eat. Uh, that'll do it. That'll do it. So I, I enjoy applesauce because I did not really have a choice. Oh, yes. Another big area. Ooh. Hell yeah. Dang. Okay, right or left? Right. right. Okay. Right. Got the speed going. Do -do -do. Oh, gem. Heart crystal. Gem tree, heart crystal. Oh, we're getting deep. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. This goes quite a ways. Lava, yeah, let's go back. huh? Let's go back. Okay, let's okay. Go back. <laughs> okay, let's go back. It's dangerous. Well, let's get this gold first, but we'll go back after. <laughs> I'm going to grab this. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'll be I'll be there in a minute if I don't die. I'm gonna grab the heart crystal. Yeah, grab that and use it. You're due. Uh, let's see. Rope. All right. 
on the way back. There we go. Man, the smart cursor is so smart. I'm the dumb one. <laughs> for, for All right, use that one. Continuing to forget to turn it off. <laughs> See, I don't like the texture of applesauce. And also, uh, often. That's, that, is, that is fair. Ooh. Here oh. Oh. Growing mushroom biome. Ooh. One of the prettiest biomes in the game. Mm. Use your heart crystal, by the way. Oh, shoot. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot that I have to uh, pop that. We will have some chests in here. Also, we probably don't need to throw glow sticks, actually. Also, almost all applesauce uh, comes with cinnamon. Oh, wow, there's two heart crystals right here. Wow. Uh, one for each of us, I assume. Oh, there's a third one over there. Holy shit. Oh, he's great for them. We've Most hit... mushroom biomes are. They have a ton. We've hit the jackpot. I'm just gonna build this, like, one hole over here. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of the, um, apple and cinnamon combination. And I know that that is like one of the primo ways to eat apples in general, but I don't like yeah, it. I'm a big fan of that. Everybody's got their own face. It's fun. Yeah, it's actually one of the few taste things that I have an opinion about. Because most of, for me, it's mostly Come just on. There's so many enemies. Texture. I will help you. Oh, chill. Your dad used to put salt on apples. Now that I have not heard of. No, don't go down there. You're not gonna be able to get out. Music, come back. It's dangerous. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, if I go right here though, we should be safe. Oh, because the slimes float, huh? Yeah, and so do the bats. They can't fit above the water. Or below the water. I mean. Oh, that's cool. We found the, the secret technique. The perfect... Okay, the skeleton's going to be able to get us, though, but... Yeah. yeah. Good thing I have this awesome that's mace. Right. Oh, I do not have milk. That is unfortunate. Spore bats, spore skeletons. I will just go up here for a second and grab this. Okay. I'm going to go stand with my head slightly above the water. Oh my god, there's another heart crystal. There's four of them here in total. Dang! Uh, I'm making bank today. Sorry, I had to uncover my cat's food. Because he, oh. he forgets how to eat Interesting. it's like uh he feels the need to bury his food and then uh he doesn't right, quite understand his... how to uh right, how to unbury it two of these i grabbed him again Oh, okay. The inventory might be full. Uh, it is not. No. My hot bar is full. I would use those light crystals now if you could. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to move things in my inventory. All right. Bam! Bam! Big health bar. Big health bar. Yeah. 
mace. Oh my god, the mace is so cool. It's very nice. Have you ever taken a <laughs> yard? Have you ever taken a bite out of a tomato like an apple? Uh, I believe I have them, actually. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes either. And that is definitely a texture thing. Yeah, I, that's understandable. I don't really like tomatoes on their own. <laughs> Just build this that way so I can just jump. I don't have a lot of health. There we go. Just be careful. <laughs> I think I do have a teleport to you potion though, so. Yeah, the wormhole potion. How how bad can things possibly get? Both die immediately. <laughs> but then we'll just be home. Not we'll bad lose at all. Our money. Money is just a construct. Oh, another crystal for me. Thank you. Tomatoes are good, but I say the insides do look like they weren't finished. Like from a ev evolutionary <laughs> perspective, like God, God gave up on tomatoes. That's an oh, yeah, I'm not gonna press that because if I do press that, I will explode. You love most tomato based food. Uh, is there a food like that for me? I love almost all onion based food. But I will not eat a uh, raw onion. Yeah, that's completely fair. I understand. <laughs> I guess I guess the best the best kind of food would probably be I don't know, potatoes are pretty all arounder amazing. Potatoes are pretty pretty good, no matter how you make them. Alright, but I think we're about ready to head back. My inventory is almost full up. Hmm. I was kinda wondering what the um what sort of mechanic there was to just stop you from continuing exploring forever. And I guess it is inventory. Yeah. I mean, technically you can. Because <laughs> there are ways to make your inventory bigger. Lag? There's lag? Is there lag? No, I don't have any lag. I'm watching the game. Also, I'm low on ammo, which is kind of an issue when the only weapon I'm allowed to use is a ball. Why is the only weapon allowed? Use? Because I'm ranger only. That is my restriction. <laughs> oh, do I have a restriction? Right, do I have a restriction? No, I'm just doing that for myself because I, I play the game a lot. Oh, I see, so I I'm see. I'm limiting myself in this way. All right, you got a recall <gasps> potion ready? I oh, do. Well, I get. I guess we can. I, no, hold on. Let's wait for the fairy. Okay. Oh yeah, they're showing us somewhere. Let's let's get this first. Okay. Okay. Ooh, my gemstone. More amethyst. Normally, there's lag between the stream and the uh, streamer. You know, like if if I said. Everybody in chat. Hey, that's ah, cool. All right, you take you take that one. Okay. Everybody, everybody in chat, say uh, your favorite food in chat. One, two, three. Now. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be lag. But that's pretty normal, I think. Alright, feel free to use your recall potion. Use the recall potion? Okay. Yep. I'll see you on the other side. Hi. Hi. 
Hello, we're at the other side. Sort all that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm ready. Uh, let's see. Woo! Got 144 gold ore. Uh, that's good. 36 bars. All right. Let's sell some stuff. Uh, sell. Should I sell the, uh, the spear? Oh, uh, you can. We don't really need it anymore. <laughs> Hot sauce is one of my favorite soft drinks. You know, I'd find that funny, but the thing is, I have actually just kind of been drinking hot sauce recently. <laughs> you like had a <laughs> you had a post a little while ago that was very much like um, your medication gives you certain cravings. Yeah, it does, and. Uh... <laughs> A lot of it seems to come down to salt and hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce enjoyer. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Put the tungsten okay. ore in here. Now what I got. 36 gold bars. I can probably make some armor. <laughs> I would hope so. How many gold? How many bars does armor take? Uh, the chest plate takes 30. <laughs> so I'm gonna need a bit more. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, here. I'll make the chest plate, and then I'm gonna give you the rest of my gold bar. I'm gonna give you two gold bars so you can. Actually, no, you could probably make a pick now with your ore that you mine. Right? I do need a I do need a pickaxe. I don't have I only have a copper one. Make yourself a gold one. You should have enough ore, I think. Okay. I will do so. Let me test my let's let me test my knowledge. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Drink a potion. I did. I did, in fact. <laughs> well, you try. <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, let's see. There are gold bars and there are gold ores. We go over here. We hit the the button. We make some gold bars. Gold short sword. No. I want a gold pickaxe. You use hot sauce medicinally. Hot sauce do be delicious. Lie. I need to stop that. I keep using I these. I even keep doing that. I keep clicking. Uh, <laughs> there. I need, a. Uh... Okay, I have a teleportation potion. I'm just gonna, it takes you to a random spot on the map, so I'm gonna try and use it. Okay. Let's see where it takes me. <laughs> have fun. I'll, I'll, uh, see you on the map. Let's teleport back. Somehow. Oh. oh, I'm all the way at the edge. <laughs> how far I went. Uh, let me remember how to do that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh gosh. I am a ways out. All right. It's so cool that there is uh, 
a I don't know. Oh hey, there's more gold here. A limited limited chest distance or a limited map distance. Yeah, it's pretty nice. All these gold for armor. Oh. Need wood. Hello. Should be wood in the chest. Yeah, there is. Hello, merchant. What do we got? Oh, you suck. I can't buy these. I don't have enough money. Oh, I want that so bad, though. <laughs> All hail, mighty Sir Isaac, ultimate Terran, and greetings from Singapore. Nice. Hey, how's how's the weather in Singapore? Damn. Okay. I have wood. I sold everything. I have gold. Oh, I can get a gold bow. Well, that's cool. Two gold to reduce it. There's no way. Gold axe, gold hammer, gold pickaxe. Hey, nice. Okay, let's make a golden pickaxe. It'll replace my unhappy copper uh, pickaxe. Don't you know you're a shooting star? And you've come so fast, and you've gone so far. Is there a country that you would like to visit? Personally, I don't. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. Just a little bit more. <laughs> I imagine I've heard I've heard good things about Japan as a place to visit. Yes, I've had enough. Let's go. Round of applause. Weather is hot and humid. I'm in a Mediterranean garden right now in the company of awesome flowers and beauties. That's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna move my glow sticks to my Okay, I used bar. literally all my money, but I got some climbing claws. The animalistic it's urge like to move to Japan and live in one of those free houses in the mountains on the fringe of society. Not even that, just one of the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um... Call it what? How do I place this banner? Oh, I have to place it on the background. Oh, it has to, it has to be on the ceiling. On the ceiling? Yeah, you have to place it like so the top of it is touching the ceiling. Ah, okay. I finally figured it out. There you go. Yeah, what I really want is to like live in one of those aesthetic monasteries, you know? Oh. Yeah. Just one of those places where you like... Uh, your daily task is like sit for five hours and clean the monastery and eat your bowls your like two bowls of porridge and that's that's what you do for today actually i've heard that i've heard that you can do that pretty uh easily if you go on like a meditation retreat oh yeah things to things to do when I have money. 
<laughs> uh, ain't that the dream though? Just having money. Who has money do these things? days? Doing things. Uh, money is expensive. Money is so expensive. I'm doing the normal thing that I do in these sort of games, which is uh, spending my time gathering re <laughs> resources. We gotta, oh man. Who doesn't like collecting? Con, what you need is a redeem where it's the Simpsons guy in the bus where he's like, don't make me tap the sign. And then he tap the sign and it says the industrial revolution and his consequences have been disastrous for humanity. <laughs> That's a free, free, free one right there for you, buddy. You can take that one to the bank. <laughs> Adding it to the list. So you can't actually fall down a one block hole. No, the character is two blocks wide, so you cannot. Okay, okay. This NPC is just standing in the doorway like... Um... He's chilling. He's just chilling. Are you going to go in or out? Come on, figure it out. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I didn't want to go in or out. I just oh, wanted wait, you to I pay attention to me. Oh my god, I can't believe I found this. This is really important that I found this. I don't even know what you're doing. Except I might die. Uh, well, I'm still at spawn, so uh, if you ever need to teleport. I should be fine as long as I don't immediately just run out of potions. <laughs> the NPC is letting all the heat out. Listen, uh, small brain is adjusting the thermostat in order to make yourself feel more comfortable. Big brain is adjusting the thermostat to make your dad finally pay attention to you. You gotta, you gotta learn the, the cat technique, you know, inconvenience other people for the purposes of intention. Unfortunately, I'm about to die, so I have to leave, but I will be back there. <laughs> very good that I found that, because if you look at the map, I found the big pool of purple stuff. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I, um, it doesn't look like I can uh, you see what it? you've unlocked. Uh, we'll have to get you there then. At least I know where it is, so it should be fun to get back to. Oh, it shows where we last died. Oh, that's cool. Yes, it does. It's... There's the mushroom biome. Makes it easier for return trips. There's the lava biome. Is the the lava area, is that hell? Did we discover hell? Uh, no, that was not hell. We were not even close to hell. Got it, okay. We were only about two-thirds the way down. We're getting near, but not, not really. <laughs> side again so you can get farther than last time if you want to join me yeah let's do it uh i'm just over here planting some acorns so i have trees to cut when i get back a sustainable environment yeah i need to buy as many arrows as i can with what little money i have left oh the banner like flops 
Oh yeah, it does. Also, uh, can I see your mace for a second? Oh, sure. Can be upgraded with torches. Yes, that is what I was going to do, actually. Oh, you want me to give it to you? I see. I see. Yeah. Uh um, read it for you. Take it. Drop it. Thank you. Alright, but taking the mace and 99 torches. Oh, and I got a good modifier too. Alright, now it is uh on fire. Oh, oh dang. Plus it look at all the extra bonuses it has on it because it's superior. Damage, crit yeah, chance, damage. knockback. Okay, this is good. Hell yeah. I like this. All right. If you're ready. Uh, let me just... I have one more thing that I need to throw into a chest here, and then I will be ready to go. Okay. Ready. Let's go. You're faster than me, unless I jump boost. I think that's fair. I'd rather have the I jump like boost. That you can't... <laughs> I really wish you could like burst it, but as soon as you let go, it stops. So I have to hold it all the way down to get the full value. Mm. Oh, man, I want to go to the mountains. Oh. Appreciate that the sound engineers put in different bird songs. True. Ah ha ha, get out of here. Very strong. So, my. Are you aware, though, that the flaming. Oh, go ahead. Uh, the flaming thing does what? Uh, I was just going to say, be aware that the flaming mace does turn back into a normal mace if it gets dipped in water for that attack. Oh, so if so... I attack well in water? Yeah, if you attack wall in water, it'll act like a normal mace until you get out of water. Oh, okay. Just it doesn't like transform it back. Okay, I was I was I was a little worried there. No, just it'll do a little bit less damage when you're in water. And Understood. It won't set enemies on fire, because right now since it's a flame mace, it can actually set enemies on fire and give them a burn. I see that. I see that. Very cool. Uh, so my wife is a photographer and she finds birds very funny and loves taking pictures of them. And I'm like, you're going to grow up and be a, you're going to get old and be a bird watcher. And she's like, no, I'm not. Stop saying that. I'm not going to be a bird watcher. I'm like, and then she's like, oh, look at the bird. I'm going to take a picture of the bird. And I'm like, you're just speed running bird watching. You're, you're getting... already bird watching. You're already doing it. All you have to, all, all you, the only step that you're missing is eventually taking enough pictures of birds to identify them. Literally, that's all it's missing. Man, I really need to get in one of these. We need to find a snow biome. Is there sandstorms in a bottle also in snow biomes? No, but they have blizzard in a bottle, which is basically the same thing. It lets you have the boost. Oh. I think it's a little... It's either a little smaller or a little bigger than the sandstorm one. I can't remember. Or they're the same. I... Hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. I have my good friend, the wiki. Hold up. Uh, yep. I can absolutely see that this is one of them wiki games. Well, this is just an ordinary hole. Twenty-one blocks. Okay, and then blizzard. Okay, so the sandstorm one is better. That <laughs> one's the best one. Oh wait, a pinky. Come back over here for a second. We got a little guy here to kill. I will do so if I can. This tiny slime here. Yeah, this tiny slime here is a pinky. 
What does and it that... drops a big amount of money. Oh, that's cool. Oh no, he fell. It's okay. Oh, he's entered the you. he's entered the arena of terror. How much gold did that give you? Uh, how much gold did that give me? One. A lot of slime though. Yeah. <laughs> I guess one gold is pretty pretty slick though. That's a, that's a good amount for one slime. All right. Yeah. Here, we're finally hitting new territory here. Let's go. You gotta catch sight of them all. Ah, in bird watching. Yeah. Step one, being able to identify them. Step two, having a list of, of birds that you want to see. <laughs> then you're officially a bird watcher. Okay. This is amazing. Love this. I love just terraforming. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to get a gun though. There's guns in this game, oh, huh? Yeah, there's guns. <laughs> mm. Muskets, machine guns, pistols, rocket launchers, you name it. Wow. Uh, here we go. We've hit the jungle. Jungle biome. Another exceptionally, da another exceptionally dangerous area. You should recommend your wife play Amazon Trail if she likes photographing birds. Is that a feature in Amazon Trail? Thank you. For all of us who are... You have way more rope than I do. You should really be building those because <laughs> you have so much vine rope. I do have a ton of vine rope, actually. Uh, but I'm also not jump challenged, so... Uh... I appreciate That's fair. I appreciate your continued support. Terraria hmm. forming. Oh hey, another pinky. Let's wait for it to get over here. I'm ready. My accuracy leaves a little to be desired, but <laughs> kinda hard to aim a bow compared to <laughs> other weapons. Oh, right. Not um, Oregon Trail, but Amazon Trail, the one you were playing on stream. Photographing birds is a core mechanic alongside dying of yellow fever. Uh, another gold and 71 silver. Very nice. Not bad in the slightest. Tell me to build you a bridge here. Thank you. I can hold my breath for a decent amount of time. Enemies here do a bit more damage. I can see that. I'd like to get out of here before night falls because that ups the spawn rate. Let's go. Get out of here, whatever you are. Snatcher goes through walls. Gross. He is gross. They suck. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna dip down here for a second. Ah, there's a chest. You could just go over. Okay. Ooh, I can give you these. Yeah, I really didn't have to buy those. That that's unfortunate. Well, second pair for you is fine. What is it? Oh my god, that pot just gave me 15 gold. 15 gold? 15 gold. Well, yeah, Which this seems, seems like a, a higher level area then. No, sometimes pots will spawn like gold portals that just drop 15 coins. Wow. Portals to the, the gold dimension. All right, here, let me give you these. Equip those. Climbing claws, they let you stick, they let you like slide down a wall like this. <laughs> fall damage. That's uh, amazing. 
Right. Yeah, and if you grab, you can also jump off the wall. That's what I'm talking about. I want to... Oh, there was a thing down yes. there. Did you see that? Oh, what? When I when I killed that slime, sparks flew down, and I saw something down there. Oh. Let me let me uh kill this slime here. Not like that. Come back up here. I just hit him. Oh. Dead. There was a, a. I don't know if it was anything good though. I'm gonna ore deposit right down here. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try building up. I heard a tip, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, I'm gonna break this tree too. I've I've unlocked wall jumping. Here, can you get off? I mean. I, I probably don't have enough blocks for this level. Okay? okay, I'll just be here. Spinning my mace. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're getting to the edge of the map. Uh, we're approaching it, yeah. Pretty cool. It's like rope. <laughs> I just hear your building sounds getting more distant. <laughs> it's funny. Slowly creeping away. Jungle grass seeds. Oh my god, there was one. I can't believe that worked. Alright, hold on. Hold me. Give me a second. What happened? I saw a tip that said if you see like little, like single blocks of water on the ground, you should try and build up because there might be an island. And there was one. A sky island? Yeah. Here, climb this rope. Okay, okay. Let me, uh. Up I go. Going to find Atlas at the end of the map holding up the world. Well, that cloud looks like a bunny. Hey, look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me mine a path up. Why does that slime have a balloon? He's fighting. Alright, try and jump up. Okay. It looks like I can make it when I'm not, like, dying. Yeah. Alright, we'll dig through the island for safety. <laughs> I'm gonna go up a little bit. Oh my god, you can barely tell the, uh, the background from the, uh... There we go. All right, jump up here. This will prevent him from getting in properly. Safety. The safety. <laughs> that little building in the center. The safety of the uh, the mace. I did manage to craft one of those. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Oh, this is cool. Let's see what we got here. 
Oh, we got a lucky horseshoe. Very nice. I'll let you have this, since you have a harder time not falling to your death. This just prevents all fall damage. Huh. Huh. So now you can fall forever. <laughs> I replaced my aglet. Uh, I would probably replace the step stool because it's kind of useless. Or the plant, or the vine rope book. Actually, you know what? Replace the compass. Because that doesn't actually need to be equipped. As long as it's in your inventory, you're fine. Oh, really? Yeah. Indeed. Alright, well, since you have that, let's just, uh jump right off the island. <laughs> Farewell, Sky Island. We're gonna land in the water, I think. Yeah, it won't matter. We Gucci. Ooh, we so Gucci. Yeah, your mace seems to be a bit higher DPS than my bow. <laughs> This mace is, uh, 6L. Actually, I do have this. Glow potion. Why is this glow? Make it much easier. I don't have to pull out a light source. Yeah. Barely that was a little... That was a little... Stressful there. Tight. They give you a really good amount of time underwater, which is nice. Yeah. It's not like Sonic. You can't see under there for more than five seconds if you start drowning. <laughs> most stressful music known to man. <laughs> Moon glow seeds. That's cool. We're digging. So the goal here is just to get to the end of the world, right? Yeah, that is the goal. Map everything. Have you completed a Terraria yeah. map before? I have. Wow. I've done that times. That's cool. No. It looks like the desert's gonna be on the left side. Uh, we've made it to the ocean now. Ooh, time to look for cake. Hello, friend. So I'm guessing that this is like... So, this the... is the fishing guy right here next to me. <laughs> nice. So he does fishing quests. But uh, the thing is, is that there is loot at the bottom of the ocean. So I'm gonna try and take a dip. <laughs> I'll join you. Yeah, you, there's a, see, there's a chest right there. Be careful. Watch your health. <laughs> see mm. what's in here. Breathing read. Terrible. Hey, Isaac. First time chatter here. <laughs> it's a good slur for straight people. Isaac, you're drowning. <laughs> I do I seem... It's too late. I do seem to be that. It might be too late for me. Isaac... Oh, no. I forgot how to breathe. All right, I'll, I'll see if I can pick up the rest of the loot in your name. Uh, let's see. I do have a let's teleport to check. friend potion. Don't bother. I'm going to just recall because I won't have time to get back out of the ocean. Okay. Um, listen, some of the, some of the, best people I know are straight people, so I don't like to call them slurs. God, come on, let there be one more chest, please. Please, thank you. We don't, we don't, we don't meet hate with hate I, around here. Fuck, I died, damn it. Oof, how much, I didn't make it. How much money no, did you chest. drop? Nine gold. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry. It's okay. Listen, if there's people making fun of you, then uh feel free to clap clap back but you don't just you don't just clap without a clap back right that said 
Normie is a pretty all-purpose insult that I uh, I like. <laughs> I'm sad. I didn't get to see what was in the chest. Damn it. Navigating chests with the uh, mouse seems to be a lot easier. Yeah, it can be. Oh, stay time. Cake by the ocean. You've awakened me to a world, a new world Traveling of kindness. Has Hello. Oh. Nice, nice. I'm glad to awaken you to a new world of kindness. Oh, jungle torches. Oh That's cool. The Nurchin over here is selling a companion cube. A companion cube? Yeah. But it's five, fifth, or five platinum. I don't have... I have five platinum ore. Yeah, no. Like, the coins will make... 500 gold coins. Nah, dog. We don't got that. Um, oh, that's a big ass painting. I can't place that anywhere. It's too big. Oh, some plate blocks. Okay. <laughs> you just want to clarify I don't actually dislike straight people at all. Okay. Clarification accepted. Let me go mine some trees so I can. But also, hi, house. how are you? I'm playing Terraria for the very first time. Did you know? I've never played this game before. I've died a lot, but now I have a lucky horseshoe, so I should never die again. Uh, yes, yeah, that's exactly what you needed. It's the yep. only thing. Perfect. I'll Immortality achieved. Oh, I just watched this Hope tree grow. That was wild. Demon horns, green team block, green team platform, volt yeah, I would. elf ears. The only thing worth buying in there is the life form analyzer. The what? The life form analyzer. It's the thing. It's the square with the circle on it. Blue. Oh, Which... displays the name of rare creatures around you. That's cool. Yeah. So, so anything rare underground that spawns it'll just tell you that it spawned cool cool uh but i am well how are you mary uh are you having a good time today one of the most important lessons you can learn in life is that there's nothing wrong with being a hollow back girl <laughs> Uh, Fikad and Jan over here are plotting some genocide, I think. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because Fikad was all like, dynamite, and Jan was like, slimes, skeletons, rabbits. I'm like, hmm. The end of slime kind. <sighs> they had it coming. Deserved, honestly. <laughs> These guys. So is this is this kind of the uh, uh, classic Terraria building structure? Yeah, this is the the classic of uh, prisoner buildings. <laughs> the Keep your, the your, your quintessential quintessential NPC. Uh, so the uh, the funny thing is, is that because of this, uh, the Relogic, the devs added a happiness system where they make NPC stuff cost more if they're in like cramped together like this. Hmm. But it takes a long time to build houses all over the map, so I usually wait until it's later in the game. Yeah. Uh. You mentioned you mentioned that there's like late game stuff. What would you Yeah. What would you say is like the various stages of Terraria play? So let's see. Uh well at this point we haven't actually killed the boss yet, although we're probably we probably could at this point kill out this boss, which I might try next time night falls. 
Uh, yeah, actually, that would be amazing. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll try that, because I do have a spawner. Okay. But that is the ice pool. And then after that, you head into the the corruption, the purple area that we saw earlier. You break the Cooper ores, kill that boss. Then you usually get head to the dungeon, which is on the top surface level. Which, since we got all the way to the ocean on the right, it's on the left. Hmm. So exploring exploring the, the surface level is pretty important then. Yeah. And then you fight the guy there, you explore the dungeon for a bunch of good loot, and then after that, you're basically good to go down into hell and fight the final boss of easy mode. Once you kill that boss, the world changes dramatically. Enemies get like, like trip, like way harder. All of them, they get fucked health and damage. Uh, a new biome spawns completely, and the corruption and that new biome start spreading, polluting the world until you kill a certain boss. And even then, it still slows the growth, but it will still spread unless you try to contain it beforehand. Mm -hmm. But after that, it's three more bosses, then a nature boss, then you explore the temple, which is underground in the jungle. And then after that's completed, you head back to the dungeon for another boss fight, and once that's done, that's the, the final system of the game, is the, the lunar events, and then you fight the final boss. Interesting. you got all of that <laughs> so it's boss dungeon boss hell boss the world gets worse uh yeah. boss biome back to the dungeon yeah, so basically the, it's basically all the name separations are just the boss fights mm. so is there a, is there like a choice between uh, bosses at any time? Like, can we choose uh, which boss we fight first? Yeah, so you can't sort of. There are some bosses where there's like a a choice between like two or three that you can pick. It's so, like technically right at the start of the game, you can immediately go and fight four bosses. They're not in any particular order, but there is a certain order that they're like in difficulty. Easiest being the King's Slime, then the Eye of Cthulhu, then Eater of Worlds, or Brain of Cthulhu, depending on if you have Corruption of Crimson, and then Skeletron. Once all four of those are beaten, then you usually go and fight the Wall of Flesh, which is in hell. And then once that happens, you hit hard mode, and then you have the choice between uh, Skeletron Prime, uh, the Twins, and the Destroyer for the next boss. But you do have to kill all three at some point. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of variants that you can do to make your game easier or harder. But I think until night falls, I'm going to try and set up a little arena for us to have our battle. Okay. So it seem it seems like compared to say Minecraft, there's a lot less focus on uh, like base building and resource gathering. Like it's uh, more adventure kind of, and more adventure it focused. Is more adventure, I would I would say, but okay. there is still a lot of stuff you need to. There's a lot more stuff that you need to like kill mobs to grind out for. I would say. Mm. Kind of difficult for you since you don't have a double jump yet, though. Um, if you set if you set up a lot of walls, I have the I have the wall grappling thing. 
Yeah, that's not how you want to fight bosses. I'm just going to tell you that now. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to invent a new technique. No. <laughs> no, no, we're not. Please stop trying. <laughs> please, please don't. Please don't. Well, it's almost night time. Maybe we should... We could just hold off another night and try and find you some more stuff underground, but... No, no, let's do it. I mean, we only have one shot at this at the moment, so... There was a coin in that tree. Yay! Ooh, nice. The green slime banner. This is gonna have to do for now. It's a little tiny arena. It's not a super hard boss, and we're doing this on easy or classic, so it should be fine, honestly. Yeah, let's go. We have to wait till nightfall. Okay. This boss doesn't spawn unless it's nighttime. There we go. In the meantime, I'm gonna blow some more coal with some dynamite. Oh. If you'd like to come watch. Yes, I do. Uh, let me just hit the best button in the game. Bam. Isn't that so nice, just being able to sort like that, though? Mm hmm Let's go. Oh yeah, you don't have to worry about fall damage anymore. That's true. I'm extremely power. I'm extremely overpowered now. <laughs> okay, put the green slime banner up. Where's the wood chest? I guess this is it. Okay. What? What's this? What? You... Oh, you put a painting up. That's a great painting. It is a nice painting. Meow. Oh. Get on the rope, though, so you don't blow up. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you insist. That's okay. No, you've ruined the rope. <laughs> you've ruined it. What have you done? It's pretty it, good distance. It's fine. Oh. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> zero da zero fall damage. I like I like the uh, I like the I like the dynamite mechanics in this game. Like you know, just blow stuff up by throwing it instead of activating it like TNT. Yeah. More of that, please. All right. Let's pop back up and get ready for a boss fight. Sure thing. It's nighttime now. I'm just gonna use a free fall potion. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. I've never fought a boss before. It's not quite nighttime when the music shifts. 
Oh, did you buy the uh, the thing that tells if there are rare creatures nearby? I did. Oh, thank you. Oh, does it transfer <laughs> to both of us? It apparently does. <laughs> did you not buy it as well? Oh, you probably couldn't afford it, actually. It was five gold. No, I definitely couldn't afford it. <laughs> Time. So let me set up a couple of torches here. We roll and we roll. Hello, Blarb Nandio. That's a great name. Set up campfires. They give you extra regen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the strat. Uh, bonus regen. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let me actually hit him. He was just looking at me for for a second. The fire seems to be really nice. Yeah, it's getting good tick day, I think. <laughs> Gotta get that DOT, maybe right? I should, maybe I should have bought more arrows for this. I feel like you're doing most of the damage. I don't know. Ah, uh, that's horrifying. Isn't it? The noise. Ha dang. Might want to heal. Oh yeah. I got healing potions. Might want to heal pretty quick. I did. And now I need to wait a minute, right? Yep. Yeah, I've only got a hundred heroes left. <laughs> We're not doing oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Dude, My entrails were ripped out by the eye of Cthulhu. Hit him a couple more times. He's dead. Hey. And I've respawned. I got loot. Demonite or What's the loot for this boss? Bunch of the purple ore that was on the ground. Hmm. Which is the only way we can actually get it at the moment. We can't make a pickaxe out of it until we kill the next boss, but you know. I'm gonna make myself a bow with it. It's better. All right, that was First cool. Boss down. First boss down. Very cool. Not too bad. I'll take my headstone. Do you want to do the next one? <laughs> Uh, do you have the spawner for it? Can we? Yeah, just we can literally just go do it. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, same arena? Right over here? No, it's going to be a bit farther. <laughs> okay. Um, well, actually, it's about time for the stream to be over, which is insane to me because it feels like we just, like, started just started yeah it's a pretty pretty long adventure very cool well we've got our little apartment complex here we've got a boss <laughs> under our belt and uh, uh good way to finish off yeah we explored all the way to the end of the world which is where i died the the map, yeah yep the other direction is the dungeon you said and also 
the crimson mm -hmm. or the corruption? Corruption. Corruption. Crimson would be red. We got purple. Ah, uh, okay. Does it only spawn one or the other? Yeah, unless you're on specific, like certain secret seeds, but normally, yeah. yes. These uh, these developers, they really like to give you the like option A or option B. <laughs> they do. It's very nice. Good, 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 diverse play experience. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how do I... Seven defense, not bad. Okay. Oh, uh, you're on seven still? Hush, I don't have your fancy... I'm on 23. I don't have your fancy gold armor or whatever. I only have one piece of gold armor. All right, I'm going to save and exit the game here. Well, thank you for taking me on my very first Terraria adventure. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, pretty flipping cool. Maybe we'll have to do some more bosses sometime. I'm down. Absolutely. Cool. Hard modes when the game gets so really fun. Oh yeah, awesome. Uh. You know, I love difficult, difficult things. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll convince you to do some expert gaming instead. Oh, like on the expert, um, yeah, expert level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that do sound fun. I'll uh, try and beat it on classic first, though. Yeah. Before the stats get buffed. Yeah. <laughs> so it is uh Sunday, technically. And it is. That means that I am to raid someone I've never raided before. Uh and since you're a guest, do you have any suggestions of people who are online that I can uh raid right now? Uh yeah, no, I just might. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if you've rated this person before. He also has a link to their Twitch. I'm not sure. So let me know if you have, but. Thank you for the stream, Isaac. Thank you for visiting, Mary. Your, your questions are always uh, thought provoking. So I appreciate them. Uh, let's see. I love how my PNG was basically like taking notes on your performance the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I I really like your uh, your PNG. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm like this. Don't be sorry. I appreciate your contributions. Um Did I actually tweet that I was live? Surely I did. I did. Um uh, Who are who? Who are we tr going to try to raid? Did you message me the name? I, I, I yeah, I DM'd, I DM'd it to you on Discord. Okay. Jamilia is live. Okay, let me go in and uh, follow. So I definitely don't have this person followed. <laughs> And hopefully that will allow me to set up a raid. Okay. Well, Amy, again, thank you so much for being here and showing me the ropes, oftentimes literally. Um, it was a pleasure. <laughs> and uh, let me throw the raid message up in chat. We're going to go check out... Um, Jamilia, pretty, pretty cool name. Um, who is currently getting raided by someone else too? Amazing! All right, raid raid party time. Uh, my name is Isaac Anzu. Thank you, everyone, for joining, and I will catch you next time. Bye.